Okay, tonight I'm going to do a couple kind of Excel tips um, about uh, things that you can do with Excel that you don't typically think of. Um, for example, I'm going to go, I'm going to start with C, oh, C3. And I'm going to drag over to V22. All right, doesn't really make a lot of sense, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to our borders and choose a border like this. And that'll just basically do borders all the way around. All right. And let's see. I'm going to drag across so that I can adjust the width of this column, these columns here. And basically I just click on the letter and dragged over. And I'm going to go format column width and then maybe 2.5. All right. So you can see how that's kind of making this grid pattern. And if I was to go down here and select all of my rows, format row height, I'll do say 16.5. Obviously I've done this before so I know that's going to be fairly square. Alright, so 3, 4, 5. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, one, two, three, four, five down and 5 across. And the reason I'm going to do that is I want to go and make a border like that. Okay. So basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that, paste, 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 like this. All right. And I'm trying to basically set up this grid. And I like to have the dark boxes around each five because it helps me to break down my grid a little bit. Okay. And so I have a basic grid. I'm going to go to my drawing tools down here. And if I click on my arrow, um, actually, let me go Auto Shapes, and then Lines, and I'm going to go the double arrow here. And I'm going to start up here and draw down, holding Shift to keep it straight. And you can see I've got a an arrow. And if I double click it, I can actually tell it I want it to be thicker. So maybe maybe four and a half. All right, I can make it a little bit longer at the top. All right, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to do my, actually, maybe I'll just copy and, no, I think I'm going to delete. And I'm going to go back to my auto shapes, double arrow again. And then again, set my width to about 4.5. Okay, so, so you can see here now, I have this grid. Now, if I want to set up some plots that I can put on this grid, and this is Cartesian coordinates. You can number these if you want. Um, and so let's say I want to add some circles, some plots. If I hold Shift, it keeps it a perfect circle. And once I get that, I can double click it and I can say fill with, let's say red. Copy paste fill it with green. Okay, it doesn't really matter. And I can actually drag these out and put them in points on the grid. Alright. Now, in addition to being able to do this, you can also do, let's say, a uh, line. Actually, maybe we should do a line like this. Let me try a straight line. I've never tried a straight line before. Line like this. So if I go from here to here, double click it, and I can, excuse me, I can make it bigger, say size 3. And I can even make it a color, such as orange. All right. So I can put that on there. Or I can even go down to my auto shapes, lines, and this one here, which is a curve. And what that does is allows me to draw from point A. <laughs> Let me do this again. I'm going to do the auto shape, line, curve. And I'll click once here, and once here, and once here, and then click um, Escape. And that gives me this line that I can adjust. 
All right, and again, I just double click it and I adjust the width of the line, say four and a size and a color purple or something. So you can see how that you can actually put things on a Cartesian coordinate plane. Now, in addition to that, let me go to another tab here. Something that is often kind of a pain to work with are Venn diagrams. So I can draw a circle, copy and paste the circle, like this, but you'll see that obviously they're not transparent, and if you wanted to write something in it, it would be difficult. If you double-click your circle and you do fill, no fill, and over here, fill, no fill, and you can actually select everything and then do format cells patterns and then I want to fill with say white all you have is these circles but you can go and type words in here so let's say you're doing a you know World War II and this could be USA this could be Japan you can go and put what things they have different, what things they have in common, you know, stuff like that. Now, um, you can also add, you know, color. You can even do a third circle in case you're doing, you know, say, Japan, USA, Germany. This is the things all three have in common, etc. So it, it's one way to do a Venn diagram that you can, you know, put on a sheet of paper and have the kids fill out. Um, Anyway, so those are some, some Excel tips, and I hope they help you. Thanks a lot.